Now, first up, I think GMC did a really badass job on the EV Hummer. However, how does it stack up against Tesla Cybertruck? So first up on the list, we have the zero to 60 comparison where Hummer hit three seconds versus the Cybertruck at 2.9 seconds. Next up is distance. Now the Hummer goes about 350 miles per charge compared to Tesla at 500 miles per charge. Now the Hummer seating capacity seats around five people versus the Tesla Cybertruck at six people. So if you have a bigger family or a six person you want to take, the Cybertruck would probably be the better way to go. Now the towing capacity on the EV Hummer is around 11,000 pounds compared to Tesla Cybertruck at over 14,000 pounds. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the more cooler features on both vehicles. So first up on the Hummer, you have the crab walk. Now, I know I've been reading online. Some people are saying, oh, my God, this crab walk thing is awesome. I've never seen it before. Well, the crab walk is actually nothing new. In fact, the military actually had it on some of their vehicles. And a lot of car companies have been showing this off for a very long time on their prototypes. However, you've got to remember with prototypes is that they're one of a kind. They spend millions of dollars in these vehicles. And in the end, the models, even such as the Honda Civic, will look absolutely nothing like their $8 million prototype. Now, yes, of course, the rich people will go out and try to buy all the prototypes. As a matter of fact, that's actually what ends up happening to prototypes the majority of the time. They get sold off to some very rich millionaire or billionaire who goes around and drives these really badass prototypes. Next up, the Hummer has a suspension lift. Yes, that's right. You can actually lift the entire suspension, which is one thing that I think is very cool, especially if you're climbing up rocks or part of a mountain and you need to get up and over something. That is what Hummer is known for. Now we're going to take a look at some of the cooler features on the Tesla Cybertruck. And of course, we're going to start off with the fact that it's bulletproof. Now, when they say bulletproof, the material that they're using is actually the same as they're using in SpaceX on their shuttles. However, you have to keep in mind that that particular material is bulletproof up to nine millimeter rounds. It isn't going to sit there and stop a 50 caliber bullet from ripping through that truck. And of course, it comes with an air compressor built in. And if you buy the Cybertruck, Tesla gives you the option of purchasing a Tesla four-wheeler. Yeah, that's pretty badass. But let's talk about the biggest question on this entire list. What are the price points? Because Tesla's Cybertruck is half the price of an EV Hummer. And the Hummer starts off at $80,000 compared to the Cybertruck's base model at $40,000. And of course, if you want all the kick-ass features, the highest speeds, the all-wheel drive, which is available on both vehicles, you are going to have to shell out a little more money. So for the Hummer, you're going to have to actually pay $112,500 for the top full-blown-out EV Hummer model. Compared to the top-line Cybertruck model, at $69,900. That's a huge price difference. And if you take the Cybertruck and everything it has to offer compared to the EV Hummer and everything that has to offer, but at half the price, I think I'm going to go with the Tesla Cybertruck if I had the money. I mean, again, you're just cutting the price completely in half. I think Hummer and GMC are doing a great job trying to come out with something because you got to remember in a lot of states, if not pretty soon, the entire country might actually pass a bill. That automotive manufacturers will no longer be able to sell fuel powered vehicles. They will all have to be EV. So you're pretty much going to be left with a whole bunch of EVs if you want to buy a brand new vehicle. So, of course, everybody's trying to kick it out now, get the jump start. Now, the Cybertruck comes out next year compared to the Hummer EV, which comes out in 2022. But again, at half the price point, I'd rather just go with the Cybertruck. And then on top of it, add another $8,000 for the Tesla four-wheeler. And all together, you get all of that at half the price almost. It's They're just way too off. I think if GMC really wants to get into the EV game early, they're going to have to seriously reconsider their designs. They need to get the price point down. Tesla is ahead of everybody by years. They're at the point where they're manufacturing everything. Hell, Tesla even owns the largest lithium-ion factory in the entire world. So you could kind of say they can control how many lithium-ion batteries are sent out to each manufacturer, in a sense, up to a point. Like I said, they're the largest manufacturer, not the only manufacturer. But they have all this control. They could just shell them all out to their own vehicles, increase their own production, and slow everybody else's down. I mean, that's pretty simple to do that for them. But you have to keep in mind a lot of other things. GMC has been around a lot longer. So once they get in the game for a while, they are going to get those price points down. They're going to try to maximize those features. I'm sure at some point they will make a competitive vehicle, but the EV Hummer just isn't it. Now, it might be it for those of you that are millionaires or billionaires and you want a kick-ass Hummer. It's for you. But for a lot of people that are in even upper middle class, they're going to go with the Cybertruck all day long. And I think for people who tow a lot of things professionally, if they tow cars to places, if they're transporting a lot of stuff, I think they're going to go with the Cybertruck over that Hummer. I think it's a cool thing to have the badge, the name Hummer. I think that's badass. Hummers have always been badass. Don't get me wrong. 
I just think stacked up to the Cybertruck at that price point, at half the price, it just doesn't compete. But I want your thoughts are down in the comment section below. If you had, let's say, $800,000 in the bank, which vehicle would you get and why? Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe button, hit notification box. If you don't know if I have kick-ass videos such as this, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because 100 likes on this video get you another video on this channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. You got to set it to all. And then, of course, if you're on a smartphone, you then got to go into your settings, go to YouTube, and turn those banners on as well. Yeah, I know it's a mess, but I don't own it. So, and as always, I'll see you next time.